we're in the Peons Basin in northwest Colorado. It's a very remote area, and, and I think most people in Colorado don't even know where it is. This area has been known for the last 50 or 60 years as Colorado's Deer Factory. It's been fairly isolated and, and remote. It's uh, uh, home to one of the biggest mule deer herds on the continent. And mule deer herds are incredibly important to the state of Colorado, um, an economic factor as well as quality of life. Uh, people really care about their mule deer herds. You know, where we are right now in Piance Base and Game Management Unit 22, the level of development that is occurring here is going to have a significant impact on the quote deer factory. The, the winter range is the critical range for these mule deer and it anchors their survival. Without the Piance Basin, the summer range on the Rome Plateau is, is not as valuable because the animals simply are not going to make it through the winter. In the current situation, the mule deer are getting the, the double whammy because the winter range is being impacted severely, the summer range is proposed for development, there's no place else for them to go. There is no other side of the mountain. We are attacking both sides of the mountain. They just don't seem to, to be able to make it here anymore. When they, they used to migrate through, you, you could go down in the hay fields there in the evening and there'd be a, a couple thousand deer in the hay fields. And now you're lucky if you can see 25 or 30 in an evening. The traffic that has picked up in our area, the big trucks just slaughter the mule deer. The last eight years, we've been seeing nothing except get as many rigs as you can out on the ground as fast as you can regardless of the impacts on any other resources. We've seen the BLM move from a multiple use agency to a single use predominant use agency, which has been the industrialization of the Western landscape. My concerns here is that uh, we're not just talking about minor changes in this wildlife resource here. I think with the scale of development that is planned here, we're looking at substantial changes. You can see the scars of the pipelines down in the creek bottoms. You see the uh, areas where the pipelines come together, the compressor stations. You see a lot of rigs down in the bottoms. You see rigs up on the ridges, roads that connect the ridges. So we've taken a, an empty landscape and turned it into a, a very commercial landscape. National Wildlife Federation and, and most of the conservation groups are not interested in trying to stop the development. The area has been leased. The country needs the resource. So we're not trying to stop what's going on, we're trying to do it right. And that's minimize the number of roads, minimize the pipelines, minimize the number of well pads that are out there on the landscape so that we minimize the impacts on wildlife of all sorts. And people expect that long after the development, the production um, is gone, that our wildlife legacy will be passed on to future generations rather than um, severely minimized and gone. This gas is going to go away. 20, 30, 40, 50 years, the gas is going to be gone. If we do it right, the mule deer, the elk, the other critters are here to stay. Our worst nightmare is if well pads and compressors and infrastructure constrict and cut off critical wildlife habitat. This is not just some isolated incident, this kind of energy development is going on all across the West. You know, it's not just in a few locations. Uh, this is, this is going to go big. This is going to go fast. Uh, it's, you know, it's happening right now. We have gone on a, on a juggernaut of development the last eight years. We've done a lot of things wrong. If we continue down the path that we're, we're going, we're going to compromise the vitality and integrity of those public lands, the habitat, and, and water resources and wildlife resources that they provide. We cannot keep on doing business as usual. I'm concerned that if the people don't defend their public lands, they may lose their public lands. We can do it better. We can do it with, with a minimum impact on wildlife. But if the people are silent, then, then we won't have an impact.